pretty sure. Um, had a nice day at work today. Um, I don't know how that video came out this morning. That was quite a quite a wild video, so you might want to check that out. I don't know if I still agree with myself on everything I said, but maybe it'll be uh, provocative enough to go viral, although it's very, very long. The... concepts I was talking about today, they, they reflect on a lot of other things. And, you know, I think we should, we really need to learn how to focus on the universal aspects of Judaism. I, I feel guilty as Chatoi Ni Mazker I, um, you know, I was over on, on Hanufa today. It was Mechanif, someone that I, really disagree with, I, you know, I thank them for their, not that I disagree with them on everything, I disagree with them on this particular issue that they wrote about. There was an article that was printed in Haaretz, and I get, I get the emails from the Jewish Coalition, the Coalition for Jewish Values, uh, which is a, an organization that I halfway agree with. I'll say when it comes to America, I agree with them. When it comes to Israel, I'm not as comfortable with them. Of course, their president is Pesach Lerner, so they're going to be a Zionist organization. Um, and I've had my issues with, with Rabbi Lerner over the years. Um, but it's all in I don't, I don't have any personal vendetta against him, although we could say uh, maybe yes, maybe no. I mean, uh, he he certainly had a vendetta against me, um, and I, I was a victim of, of his tyranny. Uh, but that is what it is, you know. That's that's part of the problem of organized religion, and uh, that I can understand. And that's why I'm, you know, I try to avoid joining any groups. People ask me, "Oh, you're a Satmar Chassid?" I said, "No." I, I send my kids to Satmar schools, but I'm I'm just plain Jewish. But if you know my my uh, you know some of my ancestors from one side of the family, one quarter of my family actually came from the city of Sat of Satmari of Satmar, um, which does not mean Saint Mary. Incidentally, it means uh, Satu means city and Mare means big. It just means a big city. That's just what it, it's called, big city. Um, But, uh, you know, this, uh, in any event, the, um, but I, I agree to a certain extent with a lot of the ideology that the Samarov teaches, not just because he said it, but because it makes sense. I mean, when I, so, there was an article, so they send out these articles uh, every week to Rabbonim who uh, want to join the Coalition for Jewish Values. And I, I encourage all, you know, authentic Orthodox rabbis who actually care about the Sheva Mitzvahs B'nai Noach in the sense of politically uh, people who are supportive of, of the Republicans and so forth from the Jewish community should join the Coalition for Jewish Values, get their emails. And again, I don't agree 100% with everything that they say there, but I, I find the articles interesting. It, not only with Israeli issues, even with some of their issues with the, the open Orthodox. Um, certain things I agree and certain things I disagree. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not, you know, I, I don't see the open Orthodox as totally trafe, except for in the areas that they're trafe. Um, and, it's, and they're not a monolithic group, although they, they have certain things, you know. I mean, I find it extremely offensive, you know, for someone like uh, Shmuley uh, Yanklowicz in Arizona to openly say that he's praying against the president. I mean, all throughout history, you know, Jews would pray, you know, for the Tsar in, in Russia, you know, and like... And here they need to, uh, 
you know, how, how can you pray against the president who was probably one of the most pro-Jewish presidents in history? Um, all this being said, uh, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. That is that's that's that is what it is. But and, and even if you disagree, like even let's say if I was you know, I, I used to say the uh I know Saint Chua for, for President Obama, even though I disagreed with him. And uh and, and if he would have invited me to a Hanukkah party or something, as some of my friends ha have attended, you know, I would have uh I would have been honored and I would have I would have gone if I if I had the time for that because it's a, it's an honor to be invited by the president of the United States even if you disagree with him personally and politically there is still respect for the office which I believe the Torah mandates us to to respect such an office from a halachic and hashkafic perspective and along those lines is kind of what um, so. One of the articles that said, you know, the, the, the link wasn't there directly. They said, you know, either you can click on Haaretz, but you have to pay for that, or you can email the author of the article and he'll email it to you. So I didn't, I don't, I'm not going to pay for Haaretz. So I, uh, so I emailed the author of the article, Rabbi Avi Shafran, who's a big Askin with the Good of Israel, and I was. The name of the article was Why Do the Reform Insist on Maligning or Making War Against the Orthodox? And I was interested in seeing what he had to say there. And the whole article was just about the Kaisel. And to me, common sense would indicate that the authentic Haredi ideology, which, again, and this is why the Satmarov disagreed so vehemently against Aguda. He was still friendly to the Rabbanim from Aguda and from, to lay people from Aguda. But the Satmarov's teachings here make a lot of sense here. I mean, I'm, I wrote back to Rabbi Shaffer, you know, thank you for your Askonis, your tireless Askonis on behalf of Klal Yisrael. But I was going to write something, but I didn't want to offend him. As an Eltreid, you know, who am I in Grimman to argue with this guy? You know, he, he, you know he's been involved doing, you know, Asgonis and Stadlonis for Kali Israel for for many decades. I was reading a very interesting and horrible story recently, but we'll we'll keep that aside. I don't think I want to make a video about that um, a story back from the '90s that you know came up today because a prominent figure in the story uh, was Nifter recently. I never heard of it. The whole story was quite fascinating to me, and I wasted a lot of time. I could have been learning Gemara or Chalk or something, or Mishnayis or Tanakh, that I try to do every day. Um, and instead, you know, I'm doing this. So I, I, I'm reading this very interesting historical account of a very horrible story of Big Hashem, which I, I don't feel is appropriate to even make a video about, so I'm not going to. But it may even Yovin, people who are in might be able to follow what I'm talking about. I'd never heard of this before. Anyway, and I'm not going to talk about what it, what it was. Um, in any event, uh, the, um, the story I wanted to share, oh, the, so he's writing about the Kaisel, and he's saying, you know, the reform, you know, they, they want to have a separate place to daven for the reform, and and he's saying, you know, we're, this should be a place that unifies the whole Kali Israel, and uh, you know, why why do we, you know, you can bring a reform sitter, but just men daven with men and women daven with women, and that's it. And, you know, can you have respect? I mean, the thing is, is uh, what's what's much bigger is like if you would enter a mosque and they ask you to have men and women separate, wouldn't you respect that? If you went and they ask you to take your shoes off, wouldn't you respect that liberal reform shoes? So, 
what's the nafkamina here? Like, for the sake of unity, isn't there value in, in unifying uh, by going to the highest common denominator? Um, and it's not, uh, you know, that the Orthodox or you know, pushing their agenda on people who are unwilling, it's that, uh, you know, for the sake of unity. But on the other side of the story, and the fact of the matter is that, uh, democratically speaking, most of the people who go to the Kaisal are Orthodox. So it's not, it's, uh, it's not going to be, you know, it, it should be majority rule, you know. And, you know, and he said this whole thing about how, you know, the Orthodox are loving and, and Karev and this and that. And the, the truth of the matter is, is that, no, we're not, it's, there's no Indian like this, this whole Chabad idea of Kirov. It's really Kenegad Torah. It's not, and, and I say this is about Tshuva, this is someone who didn't grow up from, but it's not like it was Chabad that brought me in or NCSY or anything like that. It was I wasn't really interested in those things that much. It was my Zayda, who was a regular modern Orthodox Jew, and I would go with him to Shul in Chemarev, and I had a geschmack from it, and that's really what turned me on to Yiddishkeit. It wasn't some kind of fancy Kiruv, you know, uh, you know, professional thing. You know, all this being said, you know, we uh, it, we are in Gullis. In Eretz Yisrael, we're also in Gullis. And with all due respect to Rabbi Shafrin, in Gullis, you know, we, we got to... Uh, we, we we have we have a certain Indian of being humble and so forth and humbleness right humility so in uh, expressing this concept of humility and so forth if the state of Israel would decide we want everything mixed seating and egalitarian to Kaisal as Haredi Jews and Gaulists, we really have no right to tell them no. And and it's their loss, we're just going to stop going to the Kaisal. And, uh, you know, the Satmarov already, you know, 50 years ago said, don't go to the Kaisal. And I'm not saying this just because the Satmarov said this, because, you know, for a long time I never understood that, why Satmarov said, don't go to the Kaisal. It was something that's very difficult. But then I, I've grown to realize that. You know, facts don't care about your feelings, as Ben Shapiro says. You know, Ben Shapiro should kind of realize that Zionism doesn't really make sense. It's not for us to to be pushing, uh, you know, uh, the emotional aspects of, of Zionism. We don't need to go to the Kaisal. There's no halachic requirement, thou shalt go to the Kaisal. Even, even Rishlosh Regalim, you know, maybe it's an Indian, a Leel Regal. It's not really. It's not, it's not a Leel Regal. There's no, it's not, it's not what, a, you know, we're, we're in Gullis. We don't have, you know, the Yavid says a whole truth about that. It's, it says, uh, you know, it, it, it could be that we're over in a lav because, you know, we're going to go to Kaisal and we're not bringing a Korban Shlomo with us. Obviously, it's also for us to bring a Korban Shlomo, so we're not bringing a Korban Shlomo with us. Obviously, it's also for us to bring a Korban Shlomo. So then, uh, are, are we Mekayim anything uh, as far as a Leel Regal? So, um, but, but, you know, I mean, I know. Uh, Professor Yeshayahu Lebovich was very, very uh, against people going to Kaisal. He said it's a Vaidazara. And he said that not from a Hasidic idea, not from an anti Zionist idea, from a rationalist, halachic idea. 
And uh, I understand the emotions of going to Kaisal. I went to Kaisal many times. But where are we now? Maybe Satmarov was right. I, don't, I mean, that's one of the most difficult things to me uh, for many years was the Satmarov said not to go to Kaisal. But now it's starting to make sense to me. You know, we don't need these fights. When you see the nonsense, it's a chil Hashem, to be honest. For, for uh, you know, you see the Kharedish people yelling at the woman of the wall. You know, let them do what they want. Let them lane. Let them. It, it says in, in the Gemara Megillah, women are allowed to lane. Uh, you know, and let them do it. Go ahead. Rosh Chodesh, they want to lane, let them lane. This is our business. We're in Gullahs. We can't tell them what to do. As far as we're concerned, they're Goyim. And let them do, you know, that's the whole thing. Meaning, that we consider them to be Jews, then we have to be Makar of them. But if we hop that they're just Goyim, and just because they're born with a Jewish mother, they don't have any Yiddish in Shama. And we should, instead of this racist nonsense, we should focus on righteous people who were born to Gentile parents who want to convert to Judaism and are sincere about it. And instead, these people, we throw, you know, we, we, we show them no respect, even though we have a strong mitzvah of Yehav to miss a gear. And to, and to that Bikarsim, we're supposed to hate al pi and yet we're bending over backwards to bring them in. We have to fear Zech al Chanarach, and this isn't al pi All right, show me where in Shulchanarach it says you have to go to Kaisel, right? All right, thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Come on.